Good morning, Castaic. My name is Valerie Tier, and I'm joined with Grace Kelly and Haley Federico. We have a great show planned for you today, including some STN highlights, the topic of the week, and a debate club spotlight. So get ready because Good Morning Castaic starts right now. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Welcome back. The Bring Change to Mind Club is sponsoring a week of mental health. So we'd like to know what can schools do to make mental health more of a priority. Grace, what are your thoughts? Um, personally, I believe mental health is obviously something that's really important. And I think students being comfortable talking about mental health with their teachers will make it so that teachers are able to adjust their lessons and understand the mental health concerns in their class. Yeah, I agree. I think with events like the one that Bring Change to Mind is holding are really important. And it helps students talk to other students about their problems if they don't want to talk to an adult. Yeah, totally. I think areas like the Zen Den where uh, students can really focus on their mental health and relax is key for schools to make sure their students are doing well. We also got a few comments on our Instagram. So Olivia said, I think that all school staff should be educated on the basis of mental health. And if students are not having the best day, send them home or somewhere where they feel comfortable. And I totally agree. Um, I think that school staff should be super educated on mental health. Yeah, um, Kai commented, there's a ton of things that schools can do but a few that personally stand out are not assigning much work and being understanding, understanding when students don't turn it in on time, rather than penalizing their grade for the time being. And I think that's what we were talking about with the teachers. Yeah, um, Triple Two I Am Awesome said, if a student's feeling down, send them to the Zenden or send them home. And I'm really making time for students' mental health and uh, let us interact with our peers more. And I think that's totally um, keeping students' mental health in mind for schools. So let's send it over to Pack POV. Let us go to the Zen Den without any questions. Classes should have five minute breaks. Let students listen to music because I feel like it just makes everything easier, like in general. I guess some way to help with mental health is for teachers to help guide students the work so that they don't feel as isolated. Um, you know, help out with Zen Den a bit. You know, with the volunteers coming around too. Make sure that the people there are accommodated. I'm pretty sure they are already, but you know, a little help never hurt. I think we should have shorter school days because we get so much work that we don't understand and we need to like study so we do good on the test because they give us so much work. Thank you to all of those who participated in PAC POV. Do you feel passionate about discussing topics and debating them with others? Well, Shannon and Chris did a highlight on Debate Club, so let's see what it's all about. Should I write like on the back of my paper? Like just copy down all of the top county. Actually, no, I'm just going to keep my notes out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In hopes of teaching students about debate and speech, President Kylie Price started the debate club last year. I actually really like public speaking, which is kind of interesting. And then when I got to high school, obviously our school is new, so I thought that I should just start the club. Being the teacher advisor for a debate club uh, involves a lot of the facilitating our weekly meetings through Zoom. Um, the students spend that time kind of sparring and preparing their cases and I help to support them in their research skills and their communication skills, but it's really led by the students and their coaches, which is Justin Gill and Esther Sue. Uh, we owe a lot to them, they're volunteer coaches for us. Taught by ex-debaters, Castaic's debate coaches specialize in parliamentary, a partner event that has more of a spar type format, and Lincoln-Douglas debate, a single-person competition that includes cross-examination in a necessary case that was prepared for the debate beforehand. Although these are the two main debates members participate in, other categories such as speech, exempt, congress, model UN, and more are available to compete in as well. And depending on what type of debate you are partaking in, you 
get a different prep time, you have different rules, boundaries, uh, different topics, and overall, it's, um, there's just so much to do. It's uh, really plentiful, and I feel like you can never get bored with it. My favorite thing to debate, um, probably just the most controversial topics there is, because like whether it's political topics or like social topics, these are the ones that basically have, in my opinion, the most interesting debates where it's like, what is it, an even matched almost battle, you could say, between the two debaters, where both sides have like great points and great arguments, but none of them are like backing down. Well, I'm ta I have my question. Um, my favorite things about the club is the small little community that we have because we have like five people, um, not including any of our advisors or our coaches. But yeah, it's kind of small and it's really nice because we all got to know each other and the tournaments are also really fun. Those are my favorite parts. The club is still looking for new members, so feel free to join. They meet every Tuesday on Zoom. Good Email President Kylie Pierce for more information. If you're looking for a way to improve your speaking skills or a new and fun experience to add to your high school career, consider debate. For Pointing for GMC, this is Shannon Smith. Thank you, Shannon and Chris, for the spotlight on the debate team. Now, let's take it over to Torn with What's Trending. What's up, Coyotes? My name is Torn Rikers, and today we're going to be discussing this week's What's Trending. So without further ado, let's get right into it. A massive black bear named Hank the Tank is wanted by California police for breaking into dozens of homes in Lake Tahoe neighborhood since last summer. The bear burglar weighs 500 pounds much more than the average bear, and appears to have skipped hibernation in winter due to the constant food supply. Netflix series Inventing Anna has notched up the most viewing hours for an English language series in a week since the service began new rating systems last summer. It was watched for 196 million hours last week, on top of 77 million hours of viewing on the weekend of its release on February 11th. Guinness declares massive Israeli strawberry as the world's heaviest. The 10.19 ounce strawberry was picked last February and the farm owners have been keeping it in a freezer until the record was officially confirmed. Wandering hen caught sneaking around Pentagon area early February. Officials say it's unclear to where the chicken now named Penny the Penny came from or how she got into the Pentagon. Missouri Highway Patrol mistakenly sends Batman themed alert. Authorities claim that the test message was sent out because police were searching for a purple and green 1978 Dodge, the same car the Joker used in the 1989 Batman film. Well, Coyotes, that's all the trending announcements I have for you for this week, but we'll see you next time. Bye. From Castaic, California, this is GMC Sports, and I'm Xander Grable. Let's get into it. This Tuesday, Castaic Varsity Baseball has a game at home against Pacific Christian at 315. We hope to see you there in support of our Coyotes. On Wednesday, the Castaic Lacrosse team will play hard at home at 5 p.m. Make sure to get your tickets before they sell out. Also on Wednesday, our softball team has a game at home against Valencia at 3.15. Come out and watch them beat the Vikings. The boys volleyball team has a home game against Valencia at 3.30 on March 3rd. That wraps up this episode of GMC Sports, and I'm Xander Grable. During the SDN convention, we were given eight hours to plan, shoot, and edit a short film with the prompt, Don't Look Back, and the prop of a metal key. Let's see what we came up with. Hi. Welcome to Crown Plaza. Your name? Sarah Thompson. Well, it looks like you've been upgraded. We'll take you to floor 13. I can walk there by myself. Well, oh, no, 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 no. I insist. We take our elite members to their rooms. Follow me. We'll be taking the stairs. Well, this is your room. If I hear you, I will come and unlock the door. Oh, and remember why you enjoy your time here? Don't look back. Unlock the door?
keep on running like that. <laughs> Mr. Buttons. He's my favorite. He's so cute. I know. Hello? You didn't help me. You didn't watch me. You left me helpless. How can you live with yourself? You're a monster. Hey, Mom. Yes, I'm watching her. We're gonna stay here for a few more hours and then we'll turn back. We'll be fine. Bye, love you. we have for today, Coyotes. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and YouTube at Good Morning Castaic. We'll see you next time for another episode of Good Morning Castaic. Bye! Bye.